Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Cookies and Cream. It's me, Frank. And this, this is a legit 2,000 year old ancient coin from the time of Jesus Christ. So this is a very old coin, 2,000 years old. Let me show you a closer look. As you can see, it's very tiny, probably even smaller than a penny. This is the back. It's graded by NCG. And here we have the little information about it. This is called a lepton based off the Greek word. It's also known as Widow Smite. Okay, so here I have this description speaking about this coin. I'll read it for you guys. So it says, Bronze Coin of Judea, the Widow Smite. Twice in the Gospels, in Luke and Mark, we hear the parable of the Widow Smites. A tale of charity and humility told by Jesus in the last days of his life. After three years of itinerant preaching in the lesser cities of Galilee and Judea, Jesus has brought his ministry to the city of David. Once arrived in Jerusalem, the hub of Jewish life and the capital of the Roman province of Palestine, there will be no turning back. In a week's time, he will be crucified. Jesus is preaching in the temple, which represents both the city's religious center and his business district. On the temple grounds, goods are bought and sold, money is changed, and taxes are paid. Jesus watches rich men in flowing gowns put pieces of silver into the treasury, generous offerings to the temple. Then, he watches a woman, a certain widow, deposit two mites into the till. He observes that this poor widow has put in more than all of those who have given to the treasury, for they all put in out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all that she had, her whole livelihood. Mark chapter 12 verse 41 The parable repeated in Luke chapter 21 verse 1 is understood to both extol the virtues of charity and impugn the vices of avarice, as Jesus remarks in Matthew chapter 19, verse 24, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Now I'm going to read the back. Certificate of Authenticity. Might is the 1611 King James translation for the Greek lepto or lepton. The widow's mites mentioned in the scriptures are thought to have been either leptons or perhaps similar, slightly larger variations called prutas. These tiny bronze coins were the smallest and lowest denominations that circulated throughout the Holy Land during the lifetime of Jesus Christ. So that's interesting. So these were actually the lowest denominations available during that time. Okay. The most common of these types were struck during the reign of Alexander Janaeus, one of the last Jewish kings before the Roman annexation of Judea. Most leptons and prudas were very crudely made, usually off-center on irregular flans. The resultant coins frequently showed minimal imagery. Both the leptons and prudas are called star anchor types. One or both sides will often show partial images of an anchor and or a six or eight pointed star. The anchor design was adopted from the Seleucids who used it to symbolize their naval power. The star with or without a surrounding circular diadem symbolizes heaven. 
The actual size, shape, and weight of these coins vary widely. The smallest being not much larger than a pencil eraser. Wow. Remember when I mentioned these don't look, uh, they don't look much bigger than, um, a penny? Well, now we know they're not much bigger than an eraser. Alright. The value of the coins was based on combined weight with other coins and not on an individual basis. So, this is basically to prove that this is real. This is legit. This is very nice to have something like this. Let me show you guys another look, another close look. I think this is the closest that I can zoom in without losing any quality. Let me see. It's a nice piece of history to have. Well, that's it for today's videos, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for my next money video. Have a good one, guys. And stay safe. Goodbye.